confusion reigns in Guinea-Bissau. On Tuesday, heavy fire could be heard in the capital and around the government palace. The building was supposed to house a ministerial council headed by President Umaro Sissoko Mbalo and his Prime Minister Nuno Gomes Nabiam. The news created panic and schools shut as well as banks and markets. Report says many city dwellers were trying to flee amid heavy military presence. The West African group ECOWAS has condemned the coup attempt and demanded the military to regain their barracks. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed deep concerns. There has been heavy gunfire in Guinea-Bissau near the government headquarters in the capital Bissau. The West African regional bloc ECOWAS has called it an attempted coup. A cabinet meeting was being held at the time. Uh, Nick Hack has been following developments from Dakar and Senegal, joins us on Skype. Nick, what more do you know? Well, there's a precarious calm right now in the capital of Guinea-Bissau. Bissau. We know that the military have taken control of key locations within the capital. So the presidential palace is in the hand of the military. The palace for the government is in the hand of the military. The minister of interior and other key uh, government buildings. What's interesting here is we still have no news from the prime minister and the president. Gunfire erupted just around 12 o'clock local time when he, uh, President Mbalo, was holding a cabinet meeting. Um, eyewitness saw soldiers um, launching an assault on the palace of the government where that meeting has been taking place. Now, we've seen stern words already from the West African body, ECOWAS, um, asking for the military to return to their bar barracks and alluding for of, of this potential coup, and also from the UN Secretary General saying that he's deeply concerned over the events that are taking place in, in, in Bissau. So still a lot of confusion on who's in charge and who's behind what seems to be an attempted coup, Nick. Uh, and Nick, what's the context of this, especially given the ongoing instability in the region? Well, first of all, Bissau is very... is. is is familiar to coups. There's been nine coups since it got its independence. And there's always been a tussle of power between elected officials and, and the military. In fact, no elected official in Guinea-Bissau has ever been able to finish his time in office. And um, there was an attempted coup in October that was foiled. Now, when we were in Bissau last during the elections, uh, the election results were called into question by the opposition and then by the constitutional court that um, that stamped, that, that confirmed Mbalo's election. But ever since, there's been some unease in, in, in the ranks of the military. You have to also remember the context and, and uh, of Guinea-Bissau. For the State Department, it sees this as a narco state. And there's been members, senior members of the military, that have been accused of trafficking cocaine um, from Colombia through Guinea-Bissau um, to European markets, to Europe and, and, uh, and the United Kingdom. So uh, th there's, there's an element of mistrust between the government and parts of the security forces. And one of the main challenges for Mbalo since he's come to power is trying to unite pe people behind his elected officials. But it seems right now that that's being called into question. Precarious calm right now on the streets of Bissau, but this comes as perhaps the latest coup in a region. Remember, Nick, last week, a coup in Burkina Faso, and a few months earlier, a coup in Gu Guinea in September. And then earlier than that, in, in, uh, there was a coup in Mali. That's the fourth coup in the region. A major setback for democracy, according to, to Ghana's president, Nana Akufo Addo, um, who will be chairing the West African body ECOWAS uh, Extraordinary Summit on Thursday to discuss what seems to be um, uh, the, the setback in democracy and, and its institutions. So they're condemning what appears to be a coup. Still no news of where the president is, and we're waiting to hear more from Bissau. Nick? Indeed. Uh, Nick. Uh, back with you as soon as we uh, gather more information. Nick, for the time being, thanks very much indeed. Nicholas Hack reporting there.